Hello everyone, welcome to Docker in Practice. In the previous lesson, we talked about data database. We set up a database server and also we discussed how we can create a connection pool to manage connections uh, to the database and to improve the efficiency of the application. Also, we talked how we can manage dependency of the services in the Docker and also in the Docker Compose. So, in this lesson, I'm going to talk about database migrations, caching, and environments. Database migrations is something that happens when your application grows and you need to change your tables schema to create new tables, which it's important to be able to manage the migration of the database. I also I have also introduced a Docker entry point, which is very useful for this purpose. Caching is a way to improve the uh, performance of the application and also environment in case you want to have different environment and different setup for the development test and production you can use this feature during coding so let's go to the demo for uh, from now on i will work only on one repository every lesson will have its own single commit feel free to explore that commit to understand what have been introduced and what have been discussed in each video for today i'm going to talk about database migrations uh, there is a tool called alembic which is used for uh, managing database migrations in python the way to set it up is that i have explained all the steps that is required to do that first you need to create a virtual environment and then you need to install the Olympic and then set up a Python path and then you create the, the initialization command with this command Olympic will create a directory called migrations this name is arbitrary so if we go inside the apps directory there is a directory called migrations and it has all the revisions and some files that are required once you have done that, you need to create the revisions for every changes or for the first time when you have, you have some changes. To do that, there are two ways, using your virtual environment or using Docker containers. Let's see how that works. Suppose in my table, I want to create a new column called address. I save my I save the files and then I go to my API I want to retrieve some information it happens an error it's complaining about this field this field is inside this table but it's not reflected in the database actually now database migrations happen so as I explained there are two ways so I'm gonna go with the second approach I go inside the containers create a revision and then apply the changes to do that, make sure that most databases and authors are up and running. As we see, DB is up and running, and then author is also up and running. I go inside the, the uh, OS container, as explained here, and then see the apps run this command I create this new column as we see new column is created because I have volumented the content if you go inside the migration and inside the version you see that this column is created here because this is the changes there and once I have done that I have to apply the changes through this command we see that the new column is created now let's see if our API issue is fixed or no yes you see it's fixed and address is null by default suppose you want to create a new sign sign up a new user you can set address now uh, let's change this test 6 I create a new user with the username of text 6 and this time I set address here and then I make 
use this API to create that user. And when I retrieve this user, I see that address is here. And this is how you can manage database migrations. For example, in the future, you want to remove a column, add new columns, you can simply use this feature. Uh, and then in order to handle the uh, production usage, uh, I have introduced a file called Docker Compo Docker entry point in this entry point it is used for the situations when you need to run many commands before starting your container first here i do uh, migrate my database all the revisions that have been created to be applied to the database of my, uh, my, my database and then i run that command to bring up my service and this entry point is in my author docker file I have added this entry point here so every time to bring up this service this script will be run and it and in this script i manage my database and all the required steps to bring up my service this was the database migrations feel free to explore this and try different things here the next thing i'm going to talk about is redis redis is in memory caching tool to improve the performance of the applications. Applications use uh, caching to store objects. Once they retrieve data from database, uh, they wrap it around an object and they store that object in a, in a caching to for the fastest retrieval and to improve the performance of the application. To see that, I have created a new service here called Redis and all the required field for that service. And then in the main.py file, I have set up this, uh, I have write, written this function to set up the Redis connection pool for us. To use the Redis, simply use this variable inside this app and then make the required calls to the Redis per your need. The next thing I'm gonna cover is about environments. Environments, uh, to handle different environments, most probably you want to separate your test environment from the de development and from deployment to handle that i have added a call a file called env in this file you can have many variables as you want but the main one is tag so uh, i have defined a, a tag here a variable called tag and in my docker compose file i use this tag whenever you change that tag Docker understands that the name of the image is changed and if the image doesn't exist, it will automatically rebuild that image for us. So this is how you can handle uh, different environments for the testing purposes and development purposes. Let's uh, review what we talked so far. So uh, I introduced a library called Alembic to manage database migrations docker entry point to run a few commands to some to a few commands before starting up the containers for example to manage database migrations uh, i have talked about i created a new service called redis for the caching purposes to improve the performance of the app and also environments you can have a different environments for different situation based on the variables that uh, you defined for in your environment file uh, in the future i have some plans to talk about design patterns and how to set up a mail server and i talk about jenkins and kubernetes also hope uh, you have learned something useful today and have a good rest of your day